Hello, what's up? I'm Brian here doing another video for you guys, and this time we're going to be taking a look at the newly revealed Transformers Masterpiece movie, MPM-12. This is the Bumblebee movie Optimus Prime. So this was rumored a while back, there was also a very blurry image of the packaging, which I thought was fake, because you could see a little bit that looked like it was some of the white backdrop that had been cropped out, but no, it was actually part of the toy. Anyways, uh, we're gonna take a look at the alt mode, and this is the truck form. I guess it's based on the one that was seen in the film, or it's based on the one that's used generally for the toy. I think they're both different trucks, I, I can't remember exactly. But, um, take a look at the truck mode. As you can see, there is quite a lot of kibble on it. I think the reason why some of these Transformers Masterpiece toys have a lot more kibble than the Studio Series lineup is because they tried to implement a lot more detail going into the Masterpiece that yes, it's a bigger size, but you have a lot to work with and you have to work around it. So I kind of understand that, but some of the things I feel they could have changed still. I don't like the triangle bits on the top of the cab. See, I don't like how the legs look, but I understand why they look like that. It's mostly the top of the cab that really bothers me, because most of the cab has that earth shape, and it looks fine. But then you have these two things sticking out, and it's like, what is that supposed to be? I, I guess it works with the smokestacks, but uh, I feel like they could have just added a hinge and fold those down, but that's just me. Anyways, uh, taking a look at the details, the intentional details of the truck, I do like the grill section, the rivets are very nice, I think it's painted pretty well, although I feel like the silver could have continued on that one panel sticking out in the back, the red panel, um, and I also do like the steps on the side, and uh, I think the tires look really small for this truck, maybe it's because the truck looks very long, which I think the original truck is very long, so I understand that, but Man, do the tires look tiny. And, uh, yeah, I think it looks okay for what it is. Uh, taking a look at the back of the truck. And you can see that you could store the gun. I could also see a secondary tab on the gun, so I'm not sure if that means that you can attach that to the back of the robot form. There's also a bumper on the back, but it looks awkward because it's pointed upwards, so that's kind of weird. Yeah, you can see all the hinges and whatnot. Definitely not a robot in disguise, but it's whatever. It's fine when you take a look at the robot mode. Now, that looks pretty good. I know a lot of people are going to make the comparison with third-party toys, and I understand that. But for a movie masterpiece toy, for an official toy, this looks pretty good. Uh, I also like that it's got better details compared to this. I mean, it's got the silver in the arms, which look fantastic. It's also got, uh, these parts are painted in black on the toy, but here they're painted in red, which looks a lot better. It makes them stand out, really makes them pop. Uh, the blue looks very nice. It's almost got this kind of metallic look to it, but I don't know if it really is. Maybe it's just a pearlescent plastic, but going against the silver, there's something about it that looks real to me, and I, I really do like that. Um, yes, there are kibble, you know, around the arms and on the back, I could see, but uh, I don't think it looks bad. I also noticed that the hinge on this is also on here, so some part of the transformation seems to carry over from the Voyager class toy. He's also got his really long rifle, which looks proper, and he also has the actual shoulder things that was in the film, because that was missing out on the Voyager class toy. Really good looking, and he's also got a matrix of leadership, which some people are probably going to nitpick if you think Bumblebee movie is part of the canon of the original live action movies. I know there's a lot of discussion with that, but uh, yeah, he includes the matrix of leadership. It's a little more square than it should be, but I understand because he's got to hold it, which by the way, he has finger articulation, which is very nice. For some reason, they also mentioned that he's got head articulation on the back of the packaging, and it's like, yeah, most of these figures do, so I don't know why that's special. Um, but anyways, yeah, I'm glad that he's got the Matrix of Leadership, just to throw in. And you'll also need, uh, sorry, notice a couple of holes on the side of the arms, and I'm not sure if that's just screw holes, or maybe that's 5mm port, so maybe you can add other weapons, that'd be kind of nice. Uh, taking a look at this, you can see that Optimus can store the Matrix in his chest. It's not just a throwaway thing that they just added in. Nope, it, it actually goes in. And it looks like, to me, that the back 
might also transform similar to this, so you will see some exposed detail. I'm also noticing that the arms, the upper arms, have a secondary joint here, which looks a little awkward, but maybe you can use that to some degree. And uh, taking a look at the last photo we have, this is just Optimus Prime standing there and being like, Autobots, go fall back and do stuff. I think he looks very nice. I definitely want this thing. It is going to be a Target exclusive, so I believe in Canada it will be a Toys R Us exclusive, because yes, we still have those. And um, I'm interested, definitely am. There was some guy that I noticed was complaining because it's uh, it, it's 2G1 and they'd rather the, uh, the you know, proper movie aesthetic. And I, I think that line of thought is from the Studio Series because we're getting very classic designs in Studio Series, which we're used to the live action movies. But this is also part of the live action movies, so it definitely fits in the movie masterpiece line. But I don't know. With that out of the way, what do you guys think? Please comment below, let me know. Like, comment, share, subscribe, and all those fun doodads. And I will see you guys next time.